Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Rockstar Flipper YouTube channel live on a Thursday. I appreciate everyone hanging out, everyone being here. And uh, I know there's some people that will be missing from tonight's chat, and we'll talk about that in just a minute. How's everybody doing? How's everybody's week? How is everybody's weekend? How is everyone's Halloween? If you're watching this later and it's not live, you feel free to comment down below with everything you got going on and how your Halloween was. I'm going to say hi to everyone, then we're going to jump into tonight's show. Seems like everybody just loves a quick just, hey, how you doing, and then jumping into the content. So we're going to stick to that little layout. Uh, Rockstar is late again. Adam, what's up? Melissa, I'm always late. It's pretty much uh, my way of like, Throwing the throwing the hook and pulling the uh, pulling the fish in, huh, more like thirty to forty five. <laughs> no, I'm only a couple minutes late. No big deal. No big deal. He's got to make himself a beverage. I do. I heard everyone in Niceville is nice. <laughs> it wouldn't be me if I wasn't on time. I do that on purpose for you guys. But I promise you, next week I'll be on time. I promise. I promise. I promise. So um, I'm gonna give you guys the first group for being, you know, loyal live viewers of mine. I am going to give you all all this new information and these new news bits that I have that I've been saving up and I didn't really plan on um putting them out tonight, but I want to. And there's a few things I want to get off my chest, a few things I want to say and a few awesome things I want to share with you guys. So because you're here tonight, consider yourself lucky and we're going to talk about a lot of cool stuff. Um so Hey, everyone who is in the chat, Sheila, Georgia, Diane, Jonathan, Noel, Luna, Star, Ignacio, Drummer, what's up? Key Lime Kisses, how you doing? Gotta love Key Lime's name. Everyone else, Just 10 Pac-Man Pack. Hey, Aaron, how you doing? And Melissa, of course, winner, winner. Do I like fish sticks? No, I ate fish sticks many nights as a child, ruined for me. Um, but uh, yeah, so I think that because y'all are here tonight, let's go ahead and share a few things. First, let's cover that the dog has to go outside. Um, let's cover that, uh, Roscoe, please wait. Let's cover the eBay rumor from today. If you didn't see my video, check out the video before this one. There were some rumors in the Facebook group and across social media that eBay was like throttling or turning off the Google search engine. Uh, eBay doesn't have control over that, Google does. Um, Google decides their algorithms, who comes up first. eBay wouldn't do that anyways. They wanna pull customers over. So that's silly, they would never, um, never do something like that. Um, if anybody has a lot of followers on Instagram and can tell them to come into the live show, that'd be kind of cool. Um, so uh, I didn't get a chance to post it on Instagram. That's my bad. Um, so that was just number one. Uh, we had an awesome Halloween. We went to Halloween Horror Nights. Uh, that vlog video is up if you want to check that out. I don't do a lot of vlogs, which is something we're going to talk about uh, shortly. But that video is up. Um, if you just want a little fun time, it's kind of scary at Halloween Horror Nights. It's in Orlando at Universal Studios. It's kind of fun time. Come here, buddy. Come here. You okay? Oh, sorry, bud. And um, he's like pacing around. Uh, <laughs> dogs, got to tend to them when I'm alone. Um, so I think that covers everything. And uh, key lime kisses. Roscoe, a great Pyrenees. That's funny. Um, hopefully everyone else had a good thing, or Halloween. I hope everybody uh, everybody had fun, especially, I know a lot of you guys have kids. We don't have kids, so we just get to go out and do the fun stuff. Is there anything else on eBay we have to cover? Uh, sales, a lot of people ask me about my sales. They're right where they were uh, last month. They haven't really increased. A friend of mine said, ton of people procrastinating buying this year. So it could be that um, sales will start doing better at the end of this month, I don't really know. Um, the dogs are over there. In case anybody, somebody asked, hi, Chewy. Roscoe's under the table somewhere. Um, so sales not really moving any. Uh, trying to get into some other types of sales channels. Working on that. I don't know how everybody else's sales are going. Um, two blind dogs, always fun. Yeah, let me let Roscoe out real quick because he has to go. Hang on a second, guys. Come on, Roscoe. They both got to go outside. There you go. All right, they'll take care of themselves. <laughs> okay, I didn't make a drink, so I, I don't have time for that either. Um, I did get my camera fixed with the little DIY homemade fur on top. This blocks the wind noise over my microphone. This camera has the microphone on top, so the wind noise, so I can do a lot more outside videos. And that horrendous wind noise from the day I was at um, 
at the abandoned mall will never happen again. So that's kind of cool, which gives me some more options of filming video. So if you guys have requests for videos that you think I could do outside or whatever, please put those in the comment section later as well. So that would be kind of cool. Not going to make a drink. <laughs> um, no, I'm good. I don't need a drink. Uh, so let's talk about a few things I want to get off my chest and something that just came to my attention just a second ago. And something that is asked of me and commented and messaged and forwarded. And I know a lot of people are new to this channel or new to this community and they don't know the ins and outs and they don't know the backstory. So I don't blame it on anyone who doesn't know, but I am not a part of a lot of events or a lot of things that you guys are asking me about. I'm not going to name them. I'm not going to call them out. Please don't make comments in the chat or comment section below about certain things, but a lot of you guys want to do meetups or meet me or hang out or, or see or thrift or whatever, and you're asking about certain dates and events and organizations and group groups and get togethers and am I gonna be in X place? Why was I not at X place? X, X, X. The answer is um, I don't have anything to do with anybody. I'm not a part of any groups or organizations or cliques or anything of that nature. I am me. I do collaborations. I am friends with many of the other resellers that you guys know. I will get together with them. I will do things. But ultimately, at the end of the day, I am me. I am not in any way related to anybody else, nor do I do things in a business organized way with anybody else. So I appreciate you guys asking me. I appreciate that you want to see me. But if we are going to do a meetup, it will be with me and with people that I select to help me, but it will be mine. So that is just to end that conversation where it is. So, um, and it's not that I'm against doing meetups or organized events with other people, but I'm very, very selective with who, what, when, where, why, and how I will come across. Because in today's day and age, not just this community, but everywhere, especially on YouTube, you have to be careful with who you associate with, why you associate with them, what the event is, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And you have to be very, very picky because I do get asked to a lot of different things and I just don't have the time, the money for that matter, because if I was going to travel to all the places that I could go, it would be like Casey Neistat type travel expenses. So um, long story short, there will be meetups, there will be tons of hangouts in 2018, and we have a super awesome event planned for 2018, which I will tell you guys about as a Christmas gift to all of you guys coming very, very soon. Hang tight for that one, but we are gonna have an awesome get together. So let's move past that one. My next thing is that I believe, kind of piggybacking from that subject, that because I don't associate myself as widely as some other people or a lot of other people for that matter, that I have been X'd out of a lot of things and I have been X'd in people's minds to the point that there are people attempting to sabotage me and blackmail me and get back at me and do a lot of dirty, scummy, bad, evil things to me. And it's laughable and it's funny, but I just want you guys to know that. I am making this publicly known right now and I'm not saying who, what, when, where, why, or how, that there are people attempting to do really shady, undermined things to me right now. And uh, a, a full on stop has been put to them, but they have tried. I just want it to be publicly known. So later when it comes out, because it will come out, not for me, but eventually it will, I can come back to this video and say, I told you so. So remember that, I told you so. Okay, so on to happy things. Happy, 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 happy things. I am going to be doing more personal videos like the Halloween Horror Nights I'm putting on here on this channel. I'm also going to stick to my word of bringing on more of you guys onto the channel. We had some people on here a few times. I'm gonna do some recorded videos with people rather than live, I think, um, and maybe we'll take questions. I also want you guys to leave questions on Twitter and Instagram that I can screenshot them and put them in my videos. I want to spotlight all of you guys and girls in my videos with like screenshots and you know your Instagram questions or your, Instagram posts or your Facebook group posts, et cetera, all that stuff, I want you guys to post all that so I can screenshot it into recorded videos. That way you guys get a little bit of screen time and attention as well. Um, so uh, anyways, <clears throat> I'm, just reading some, I'm just reading some of the chat. Somebody said for me to come to Charlotte. I am gonna come to Charlotte and meet up with Luke and Jason Prof Sales and uh, maybe I'll end up in Texas as well, so. Um, 
I may still do uh, live with you guys, but I want to do a lot more recorded where I bring you guys in. And in fact, I'm going to do some videos where I have all of you guys record like a little 15 second clip. And then I'm going to edit those clips into a video collage. Um, I want to do some videos like that. I think you guys would love that if like your faces, if you guys want to join in and like, you know, take your phone take your iPhone and like record 15 or 20 seconds. I'll have to get like what the maximum email size is equivalent to um, equivalent to uh, like video size and an email attachment that you guys can video record and send to me or you can post it somewhere that I can save it or um, whatever that might be. And, uh, and then I'll take those clips and I can edit them all together one after another, me opening the video, you guys, and then me closing the video. And then I can like tag your name under what you're saying or your Instagram or if you want some kind of shout out. So kind of help some people that way as well. So I think that'd be kind of cool. I think that would be awesome. Um, so anyways, that's, uh, that's something else that I thought would be fun for everyone, especially here in the uh, the fourth quarter. Hey, Jeff Halstead, how you doing? I am paying attention to the chat. I just haven't been looking at it very much. I apologize. Um, I will be, uh, I'll be reading it some more. Um, I'm just scrolling up. Give me a second. New Hampshire, who let the dog out? Uh, I let the dog out. East Texas, we do. I do want to see Texas. Uh, I would love to come to Denver. Uh, last year, you guys might remember, we drove to a wedding. And um, our friends that we drove to that wedding had their one year anniversary in October. They went to Denver for honeymoon, it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, anyways, uh, yeah, people do have a lot of time on their hands. Um, was that Lindy Glenn in the chat? Did I see Lindy? Maybe I didn't, I didn't see Lindy, just kidding. <laughs> it means I made it on social media, I guess. Um, Colorado Techs, how you doing? New England is something I haven't been to in a while, but. Uh, Anyways, if you guys are interested in being in the videos, I will update you. Make sure you check back and I'll tell you what kind of video clips I need and then I'll tell you where to send them and then we'll get it going. Let's start it next week. Um, okay, get the dogs in before they get stolen. They're both inside. Our dogs don't hang out uh, too long. There's Ross, well, Chewie's on the floor and Roscoe's right there. What's up, boys? They're waiting on a treat. They they go outside and they want a treat when they go potty. It's the only way to make them go. But um. I think you guys would like that, right? Like a lot of you guys would like the shout outs with Instagram and Facebook and Twitter names and like 15 second clips. How many of you guys would do that? How many of you guys would make like a video clip and then send it to be in one of these videos? Let me close the door and get the dogs a treat. Put it in the chat how many of you guys and girls would be interested in that. Like actually having your face and your audio in a YouTube video out to everyone else. I think a lot of you would do that. I think quite a few of you have done it before, actually. So um, a lot of you would. Yeah, it looks like a ton of you would. Aaron would. I know Aaron would. <laughs> Wade's Ventures. What's up, Wade's Ventures? You guys still check Wade out, right? If not, I'll link his stuff. Wade, feel free to link your stuff. Um, Wade's Ventures, uh, $10 super chat. Thank you so much, Wade, over there. Not his face. <laughs> a lot of TD Paul. Some people said they uh, they would do their face or their audio and not their face, which is interesting. I hate seeing yourself on video. I, you know what? That's something you guys may not know. I don't watch or I don't rewatch all of my videos. I have to watch them when I edit them and finish it, but I don't rewatch them. <laughs> um, it's very easy. I, I can do a little quick video. TD Paul, I see him over there <laughs> raising his hand. <laughs> He's like a crazy man there. Um, I, uh, I could do a quick video like somewhere that I can show um, like how to, how to quickly join in a Google Hangout. It's very, very easy. James headed up to uh, Denver once a month for sourcing. I would love to get to Denver. Denver's awesome. I have never been to Denver. I have been to Colorado Springs, but not Denver. My brother was in the military. I visited the whole shebang. Um, yeah, but anybody who wants to do video and be a part of it, easy, just record it and send it to me. If you're going to be on live, I'll teach you how to do live. Uh, okay, so the last bit of news that I have for you guys before we get into open Q&A, which I'll answer any questions you guys have. Um, I am going to be opening up. I have a ton of people that want, um, you know, we did a ton of one-on-one -on -one coaching, which I was happy to help everybody with, but I realized the time suck of the one-on-one -on -one coaching to sit down for a half an hour and an hour each day was kind of 
it was it was really killing my my flow of my day and I love the one-on-ones. It was some of the best times I had doing the one-on-ones with you guys, but I wanted to kind of make it um, easily obtainable for more people. I wanted to make it uh, better use of my time and, and my other time. So I've got somebody who's going to help me with the one-on-ones who's just as knowledgeable as me. And, uh, and you guys will know who she is once I get her on board. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to open, we're going to create, well, we've already created it, a Facebook group that's private and it's going to be available for one-on-one -on -one coaching by, um, by like time slots. And we're not going to do, uh, like paid time slots. Uh, you know, you're not gonna have to pay every time you come in. We're going to work out something where like you can, um, you could basically, uh, buy like one-on-ones or group. We're going to do like group live chats too. Like there's going to be signups almost of like online webinars and teaching things where like if there's 20 people that want to know how to do global shipping, we can set a time and day scheduled where we come on live and we can accept, you know, the first 20 or the first 40 people or whatever um, to kind of try to make it private. And you guys can all come into that one webinar. Or if you just have a, you know, we have a subject that's only one or two people, we could schedule that for a different day. That way we can try to kind of help as many people as we can with certain topics. So what we would do in that group is we will take the calendar and we'll schedule the calendar that you will have access to by being in the group. And you'll open up the group uh, calendar and you'll be able to select the dates and times and subjects that you want to be a part of. And of course, we will, uh, We'll have more information on that. We're gonna try to get that going by the end of this month. We'd love to have it out for like the middle to end before before Thanksgiving. So I think that would be um, really cool. Kimberly Pickett, that's awesome. Very good job. Awesome job. So, hey Terry, I saw Terry in the chat. Terry, make sure that you check your messages. I sent you a message. I commented on it on YouTube, but check your messages after the, uh, the show. So yeah, so we haven't really, um, we haven't really figured out all the details to the private group yet, uh, you know, about what we want. Obviously, it's going to take a lot of our time to kind of do, and we want to maximize that. And I'm going to have to pay my helper and and collect on that. So there's going to be some charges, things. I, we haven't figured it out, to be honest with you, 100%. But we're going to be working on that all this week and next week. So it's, it's going to be awesome, you know, to be able to schedule and tell people, hey, on Friday at 8 p.m., we're going to do a live show with 20 people, and we're going to talk about, you know, guaranteed delivery and setting up all of your settings, and it's going to be, you know, a 30-minute show where we're going to talk for 20 minutes, and then you guys can answer, uh, you know, Q&As for 10 or 15 minutes, whatever it is, you know, you guys get the point, but we wanted to set up something for that for you guys to be able to have, you know, whoever wants to be a part of that group and wants to get that one-on-one, -on -one, um, you know, instead of me charging people for one-on-one -on -one time, I can get together groups of people and hopefully help out as many people as possible, as quickly as possible. Because I knew I had some people that said they were available Tuesday, and then all of a sudden I've got 10 people available Tuesday, and I couldn't get to all of you guys. So I felt kind of bad telling some people yes, and some people no, and it just didn't work out. So I'm gonna fix it, I'm gonna work out some solution, and we'll be good to go. So that would be cool. Dave is not my helper. Dave is not my helper. Um, uh, we have not done a haul video in about two weeks, and that's because two and a half weeks ago I purchased, or three weeks ago, I purchased all the Plato's Closet 600 pieces, and then I back-to-back -back purchased another 4,000 pieces. It's my typical thing for like the year to spend as much time sourcing to get as much as possible, and then list, list, list. We've just been listing like crazy over the last three weeks. So uh, we will do more haul videos. I will go out next week. I promise you guys I'll get one or two haul videos in next week. Colorado Text, thank you so much. Uh, $5 super chat. I'll never close my eBay store two months prior to fourth quarter. Trying to catch up is not fun. But Text, you had some medical stuff and a surgery, so not a whole lot you could do about it. But yes, turning off your eBay store, extending handling time, vacation mode really kills your search ranking for quite a while. Um, let's see what else. Shout out to Rockstar, best eBay guru. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Um, Terry Berry, Banana Fana, Fofari. <laughs> Somebody's got a song for Terry going. Uh, 500 items to sell, $200 a day. You should be able to do that. Um, can you send shipments to the USPS with UPS labels? Uh, no, I think FedEx has an agreement with them, right? FedEx Smart Post. Um, Amy did 5,000 in a month with fast sellers, of course. Uh, Cooper, uh, yes, your Guam tracking and your Hawaiian tracking. 
So Cooper had an issue, if I remember correctly, that you shipped some packages to like Kentucky, not international, just Kentucky and some other state, and they ended up in Guam and Hawaii. Did you ever figure out how what that happened? Um, that would be interesting. That would be interesting to know. I want to know about that. Uh, but thank you, Colorado Tex, and thank you, of course, to Wade's Ventures just a few minutes ago on his Super Chat. appreciate both of you. Uh, I accept returns up to 60 days. Um, you know, the item has to come back and be the same. If there's anything different about it than when I shipped it, I will fight it through eBay. How you doing, Stephen Bond? Evening. Thank you, Joe. I really appreciate that. Uh, not no more on FedEx. Do I have to pay for returns for international? Diane Hall. Great question. If you do global shipping and the customer wants a return or through international direct, you are technically responsible for paying for the return label from their country to us, which could crush somebody if it's like a $30 return. Uh, label costs. So I, I saw somebody in my Facebook group who said they contacted eBay and eBay closed the case and ate it. So it's kind of a loophole. I would call eBay at that point and ask their suggestion. I have not had a return through international global shipping program yet. Knock on something. Um, Ebony, congratulations. You'll get there soon enough. It is very easy to run an eBay business. It's easy to run. It's not easy to make money. It does take a lot of hard work. So um, make sure you guys know that if you're newer. And I can't wait to give you guys some more portable mobile video with this thing. I really got to get out. So I was kind of up in the air about um, sharing this with you guys. I, you guys may or may not know that I have other YouTube channels that I don't really post on. I don't really spend any time on them. I have a gaming channel, which I wish I got time to video game, but I don't. So it's just dormant. And uh, And I have a YouTube channel where I taught people a lot about how I built this YouTube channel. I don't use it that often. It doesn't really have any content on it. Um, I don't make money off of any of those channels, just this one. But I really wanna make a video, and I'm not a vlogger. I hate the vlogging every day. Like, I don't like the people's videos where they're like, and now I'm eating an egg, and now I'm eating a cracker, and now I have to go to the bathroom. I think that those are terrible content, and I don't know why they get millions of views. But what I do think is great content is when somebody videos life experiences, and you guys know that I would love to be like a travel videoer of like destinations and stuff. Well, I can't do that at this point in my life yet. I can't just jump on a plane to Bangkok or to Tokyo or, or the Seychelles or Bora Bora. But, you know, obvious financial reasons, but time and money and work and all that stuff. But I do live in an area that grants me access to a ton of cool stuff that you guys may or may not want to see. And I sort of want to video a lot of it. Um, for example, we have season passes to Disney World, to Orlando. I can get in the car, go to Disney World, and in 45 minutes, walk around an entire park. And I kind of want to video that sort of thing. The water parks, the Disney parks, um, the theme parks that are around here, the beaches, the water, all the cool stuff that's in Florida and expand to that. And I was thinking about creating a YouTube channel just to share those on. And I know you guys might check it out. But I didn't know if there was a better idea to create that and put that content over there or just to put it here. And since you guys are already here, it would make it easier. And I know a lot of you guys will say put it here, but I sort of think that's a separate channel. I don't know if you guys have an opinion on that or not. But yeah, like the pull side from Vegas, that would be really cool. So um, what did Will say? So Will said, uh, pull side from Vegas, drink in hand. <laughs> See, I would do that. Um, yeah, you got to have a sense of urgency to keep growing. Disney Park channels are very big. Yeah, there was one guy in Orlando that I used to watch. Um, I don't remember his name now. Tim or something. Uh, I, I'm subscribed to him. I could pull it up. But very good channels. And, and I'm not the Disney channel like most people. Like, oh, let's take our kids and film our kids. That, again, the family type thing is not really my cup of tea. It's just the what's there. What's the cool stuff? Kind of like adults doing Disney, I guess. That'd be kind of cool. So, um, Melissa, good luck on the cha-ching. You're welcome. Yeah, we live near Bush Gardens. Um, I, uh, you know, I don't uh, cross promoting two channels. Yeah, so. It's all part of my life. Facebook Live that day was fun. Yeah, I could do some Facebook Lives. See, I enjoy College Pickers travels around the world. He's kind of got the coolest gig in the world. College Pickers awesome. Eric's an amazing video or uh, something like that. I don't like vlogs, although that's what it's going to be called as a vlog. I just like 
the whole like seeing cool stuff, like just filming cool stuff to me. I, it doesn't need to be about me or what I'm doing or what I'm eating. It, you know, showing the dinners and the restaurants at, at Disney is cool, but I, you don't need to know that I woke up and ate uh, a pop tart. Like that's kind of lame to me, but the experience of what's out there is, is what I like. So Layden, thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate the $5 super chat. Really, really love that. Thank you, Layden. You guys know Layden, always here. Yeah, I could do some cl some playlists for sure. Uh, I could post the video on two channels, but it just makes more sense to have one channel. I just, <laughs> well, that's what he thinks of that. <laughs> uh, the meetup was fun to see. The pre-hurricane vlogs. Yeah, so I'm going to do some more of those. I think I'm going to put it on a different channel. If I do, I will link it to you guys in the bottom of my videos, and I'll put a huge um, post out about the channel starting. We'll have to see. I don't know. There's a lot of cool stuff to do here in Florida, and uh, and I'd love to video some of it. We do a lot of it, so I'd love to video it. Yeah, stared blankly as I eat a tuna sandwich for 10 minutes. I promise you there'll be no tuna sandwich eating for 10 minutes. So, uh, Yeah, tip number one, don't buy fidget spinners. Um, if there's any eBay-related, Amazon-related questions, I'll be happy to take them now. Uh, I'm going to be on another 10 or 15 minutes, probably 10 minutes, and then... Uh, and then I got to jet out of here. I got to work. I've got like 20 items photographed. I want to get listed and a bunch of emails and comments and messages from y'all that I want to respond to. So what is up, David blog tube? How you doing? Thomas Wilkinson dinosaur land near us. We have a ton of stuff. We have Disney. We have universal. We have islands of adventure. We have Aquatica. We have all the water parks. We have sea world. We have dinosaur land. We have bush gardens. We have Lego land. We have all the beaches, Daytona International Speedway, South Beach, Miami, um, the sponge docks of Tarpon Springs. We have Wikiwachi with the mermaids. We have the manatees. We have so much cool stuff in this area. So um, there's a lot of stuff I'd love to film. What's the hottest toy to sell this year? Nintendo Switch is hot. Uh, the Fingerlings, I think, are super hot. If I remember correctly, people are still doing really well on those. Um, throw me some more ideas out there. I have a video about some of the hot toys. Both of those appeared in it, the Fingerlings and the Nintendo Switch. Um, Jurassic Park, Anna Maria. Yep, we love Anna Maria. Yeah, Fingerlings, I think, are probably the number one toy that everyone is, uh, that everyone is killing it on. Gatorland became Dinosaur Land. Exactly. Yeah, Fingerlings, Fingerlings. It looks like Fingerlings are really, really hot. Yeah, the Wrecking Crew just barked like crazy. They are uh, just chilling. Chewy's just chill. Chewy's just chilling on the couch. What's up, Chewy? What's up, buddy? How you doing? Oh, there's Roscoe. Roscoe B. Hi, buddy. What's up? You're making a mess eating. <laughs> yeah, fingerlings are really good. Really, really good. Uh, console, not a toy. It's an investment of life. <laughs> Hit the like button, Crow's Nest. Thank you guys so much for the likes. Appreciate that down below. Drop shipping is very risky for whoever's asking about it. Remember, you're relying on your sourcing person's um, ability to fulfill orders instead of your own. You know how many mistakes can be made, so just tread lightly. There can, There is money to be made, but it's very, very risky. That's all. Uh, are there brand restrictions when you are a new seller? I've tried going through eBay to see what my restrictions are, and all it tells me is just the general info. Um... For the most part, no. eBay is very different from Amazon and there are not brand restrictions to a point. Uh, I would stay away from Otterbox. I would stay away from Rosetta Stone. I would stay away from using the word Velcro. Those three things are big no-nos on eBay. What are my contacts saying about eBay being broken? Are they taking responsibility yet or trying to fix it? 5,000 listings. And I've sold three items each of the last three days. Siobhan Byers, great question. I have 2,000 listings. I am luckily still selling 10 to 15 items a day, but nowhere near what I should be selling, which is 25 items a day, if not 30. So they're basically saying that the promoted listings was just a reporting error, which I countered them with, and they are working on questions and answers. I am going to be in touch with them again tomorrow, so I will have more information tomorrow, hopefully. Um, a lot of resellers provide blogging lifestyle videos. That's true. You can always mix it in. Nissan doesn't like it either. Two listings removed. Um, am I going to do something special with 50,000 subs? Yes. The couple of days leading up to 50,000 subs, I'm going to be giving away five or six things. 
We're gonna give away some gift cards to Amazon, eBay. We're gonna give away at least one lighting kit. I might give away two lighting kits and um, because so many people wanted them. And I'm gonna be giving away um, some one-on-one -on -one time with me, some training, coaching, and uh, some other stuff I'll come up with. Maybe some cash giveaway, a PayPal transfer. I don't know, we'll see. But four or five of those days, I'm gonna be giving away some prizes for sure. Up to 50,000 subscribers, which I just hit 48 and change. Um, so it will be by the end of this month because I average about 3,000 per month, uh, anywhere from two to 3,000 subs per month. I only need 1,970. So it should be pretty, pretty much the last week of November, right around Thanksgiving, I should hit 50,000. Um, how do you enter to win? Uh, I will announce that. You will just need to be subscribed to my channel and in during the live shows, I will post them and market them all week long. I will put the live show notifications up and just check back. That's it. And you'll be just being subscribed to my channel and, and being here will be enough to win. Uh, do my dogs communicate with Ryan and Allie's? I'm sure subconsciously they do communicate with Moji. Um, Cha-ching just now, congratulations. Uh, I will not be doing a 24 hour anything probably maybe one more, but you guys may have seen the story I mentioned it in another chat about a guy that died doing too many 24 hour live streams lack of sleep and his Unhealthy lifestyle a lot of stuff contributed, but kind of scared me a little bit. So maybe we'll do it again um, And we might do uh, we might do um We might do another charity event. I don't know. We'll see uh, what's the difference between business account and individual account um, if you're talking about PayPal, it's uh, that business accounts have unlimited withdrawals, I believe, and personal is like limited to 5,000. Plus, when you register the business, you can register your LLC or your licensed uh, corporation, S Corp, things of that nature. There's a few differences. There's a chart on PayPal that will do the side-by-side -side comparisons, I believe, as well. Uh, Jonathan, thank you so much. Congrats ahead of time on 50,000. Hopefully, we'll get there very, very soon. Uh, a lot of buyers do not leave feedback. Absolutely correct. I know people use uh, Feedback 5 to auto send feedback requests. You can manually message people. I don't even bother with it. I just take the feedback as it comes in and roll with the punches. Um, I, I do not remind people to leave it. And if they do, they do. If they don't, they don't. You, I know some people go like once a week and they'll go back and message all the people that didn't leave feedback with like a pre copied and pasted message so they can just open 20 emails and just hit copy paste copy paste copy paste copy paste copy paste copy paste just be careful of ebay spam message uh, rules um let's see what else uh send me money terry i will uh i'll go break out my monopoly soon um what's the average percent of sales for the gsp very low i only sell a couple items a month i would say it's less than one percent uh good evening scott how you doing um yeah, I would say I probably only get about 20 to 30% eBay feedback left. I doubt it's any more than that. My feedback right now is in the 4,000s, and I've probably done 12,000 to 15,000 transactions on this account. So what are the best items to sell on eBay? There's a lot of great items. Electronics, clothes, it just depends on what you're good at and what you have available. There's a ton of good stuff to sell on eBay. Yeah, you can always be risking a negative if you ask a bunch of buyers for feedback and one of them didn't leave you any and he was considering negative he may actually leave the negative so just try tread careful as you do that uh i list 700 items a month and average 50 dollars a day i would say that's low uh even if you maintain like a 16 or 17 dollar average sale price you're only selling three maybe four items a day with 700 active you should be selling more than that i would think um, but it is slow right now good night terry give nitro that medicine give him hugs New Atag Levi's actually sell good, um, 30 bucks plus. Um, never ask for feedback. You can catch the buyer in a bad mood. Absolutely. I never, ever ask for feedback. I just don't do it. I just think I'm better off the way I am. And today I went from 99.8 to 99.9% positive feedback. It's been like three months since I went from 99.9 to 99.8. But I've got some negatives, a couple negatives from last year falling off, and I... I don't know if we're going to get to 100, but maybe, maybe we will. Um, do you think you can make a profit from computer setup decorations from Alibaba? Eh, depends. I'm not really familiar with those. <laughs> Cooper's made most of his money paying people not to post glamour photos of his stuff. Um, why is it so slow? That's a great question. Nobody's really sure why it's so slow right now. Um, it's just, it's just really bad sales time right now. 
And I really, really am hoping that November picks up. We're only two days in. Um, you know, we'll see. I mean, we'll, we're, we're going to have to wait and see. Yesterday was slow, so. Uh, I haven't heard anything about reselling Levi's without authorization. I haven't heard anything on that. Uh, AJ, no. Usually sales by the end of October speed up, especially right now. So if we don't have a pickup in the next few days, then something is really, really wrong. Jennifer found a $5 bill. I never find money in jackets, so congrats on that. Uh, how long does negative feedback stay on? I believe it's 12 months. Yes, it's 12 months. Bath and Body Works is doing good. Yeah, if you guys can find discounted Bath and Body Works, it's always a good score. Uh, I believe that Poshmark, Macari, and the other um, platforms are taking a little business from eBay. Um, buyers are buying a lot from there. Never found money. I never find money. Where does your supplies come from? Uh, I buy them off eBay using my shipping coupons, and uh, typically they're cheaper on eBay anyways. Christian Corrales, if you have a lot of questions, you'd probably be best scrolling through my videos. You could probably answer a lot of the questions that you have. But I appreciate you being here in the live chat. And uh, every Thursday we're here. Do you prefer flat rate or padded flat? I love padded flats. I love them. Since I sell mostly clothes. Um, found a $5 bill in a Stephen King book. That's creepy. That is a little creepy. Uh, the artwork behind us, Kate painted that by hand. Kate actually painted that on four separate pieces. She drew it and then painted it. And, uh, and I hung it up. It's crooked as hell though. And, uh, it actually matches our area rug. See that? Oh, my arm's in the way. Hold on. Ugh. There's the painting. There's the area rug that Roscoe just ate and made a mess on. There's the painting. There's the area rug. You guys see that? You made a mess, Roscoe. <laughs> you eat like a pig. You eat like a piggy. Come here. You're okay. Come here. Look. Look, bud. It's a camera. See? He loves being on here with you guys. He's four. He just turned four on October 27th. Um, Full-blooded Yorkie. We have the papers on him. We have everything about him. Comes from a couple champions in his line. He doesn't look like it because he got a goofy haircut last time because he was not being nice to the uh, groomer. He was biting her fingers, but he's a good boy usually. Troublemakers over there. Um, awesome job, Kate. I hope that wasn't a BB baby on the floor. No, that's a dog toy. That's one of their squeaky toys. Have a good night, Amy. Appreciate it. We're going to get ready. Me and Roscoe are going to get ready to head out and grab a drink and go to bed, right, buddy? We're going to get some listing done while we're in bed because that's where I do my best listing. Good boy. Say bye to everyone. Say bye. All right, you can go ahead. No, he doesn't want to go now. He wants to be right here. <laughs> All right, say bye to everyone. Tell them bye. Don't tell me. Tell them. I <laughs> uh, love the wrecking crew. Um, and we're going to ignore that question, but uh, yeah. Post office is always out of padded flats. Just order them online and make a few orders, and then they'll just start showing up to your door. Um do I think the eBay unboxing fails on YouTube are real? No, they're staged. Have a good night, everybody. We're going to get off to listing. I appreciate everyone being here. Make sure you hit the like button, 220 people and only 100 likes. So please hit the like button before you leave. It's really important to us, and we appreciate it. And uh, I can't wait to start opening up the Facebook group and a new YouTube channel for everyone. Uh, I've, I'm excited about doing some new different type of videos, and I'm excited for the Facebook private group that you guys will be able to join and and get some more stuff out of. So uh, really looking forward to that. So you guys were first to know about all this stuff. Um, appreciate it. Wonderful evening. Thanks. We'll see you next Thursday, and we'll see you again tomorrow with some great recorded videos. Good luck on your sales. Keep listening. Keep selling. Keep buying, and I'll see you tomorrow.